Which would like to create a taxi booking into WordPress in this step-by-step -step tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how you can do this So hey everybody if you want to create your very first website or your booking totally thought free using the WordPress You are in the right place. I'm gonna be showing you how we can do this So as you can see I'm into pantheon.io So this website is gonna be helping us to deploy a website of WordPress totally for free So we don't have to pay absolutely for anything and we can use all the plugins that you want to do with this basic plan So what you want to do now you're here into pantheon.io I'm gonna hit to get started so what I want to do is to provide a first last name my company my work email a passcode and after that I want to agree to the Pantheon terms of use and hit into sign up once I have successfully done that what I want to do is to focus now into the site section and I want to create my very first site so I'm going to focus into create new site so now that I'm here I want to look out for WordPress and with that being said, I can start to import all the information that I want to look out for my WordPress, which is the Pantheon site, the region, and continue. After that, what you want to do is to look out for your sites. In my case, it appears in here. I'm going to click into my site name, and I'm going to head into the actual visit the site development. As you can see, here it is. So I'm going to click in here, and automatically it's going to be sending us into the WordPress so we can stop working. So now that we are here, what I want to do is to get started with the booking of my taxi. So let's get out into our plugins. So once I click in here, I can locate all the plugins that has been installed. So I'm going to go and add a new one. So I'm going to hit into add new. And here what I want to do is to hit into the keyword where it says search plugins. And I want to look out for taxi. This is the keyword that's going to be really, really uh, important. So I can have the WP right booking. So I have a lot of actual stuff that I can um, install. So you want to make sure that this one has like really, really strong active installations and strong reviews. So in my case, I want to look out for this one and hit into install now. Once this has been successfully installed, what I want to do is to click into active. If you didn't see that, I can go back here into my plugins, install plugins. And once you locate the one you just downloaded, which is actually this one, I want to hit into activate. And now we can get started. So as you can see, it appears here into all my actual plugins. I'm going to get into settings now. And let's focus into the WP right booking. So it's going to be popping the actual WP right booking so I can start by actually start my payment mode, which is actually my sandbox or hit into life. I have the Google Mad API key. If I want to do that, I can look out for a new API. Here's the currency I want to receive my money, the PayPal email ID, the per kilometer rate and the submit button text. If you think this is actually like really, really easy to use, you don't have to worry about that. I can go back into plugins and look how for a new one. So for example, here I added a new one for delivery and pickup scheduling for the WooCommerce. This is going to be helping me to actually making some pickup for people. I speak about caps and taxes and all that. So I'm going to hit into this mist. Tell us more about Express here. I want to build and manage a site. I'm going to hit into this version on site. I'm going to hit into continue. So as you can see, I have now a Google Maps API key that I can enable here. So this can be copied for Google Cloud Console. If you don't have this, you don't have to worry about that. So to focus here into next, I'm going to hit into finished. And here I can go into general. And here what I want to do, if I want to get started, is the actual address line where I want to locate my tax rates and the shipping rates and all of that. So what I want to do is to hit into the address line. So let's say, for example, that I want to start from uh, like the street number one from the actual New York City. So this is like just really, really um, for the demonstration. Here's the postal card, my general options, selling location. I want to go into all the countries except or only look focused into specific countries. In my case, let's say I only want to look out for the United States. Now, enable tax rates and calculations. I want to enable this. I want to enable coupons if I want to make some discount and all that. So I want to enable all of them. And the currency options, let's say I want to just to chart with dollars. The current position, we go for the left. Thousand separator, decimal separator, number of decimals, hit it to save, and then you're actually good to go. Now, let's look out for the next part, which is the actual products, or in our case, is where we want to actually start by making some tax stuff. So, for example, here I have the shop page, and here I have the shop, hard to check out my account refund policy. I'm going to go for shop, place horror image, let's go for five. Now, I'm going to hit into booking system, I'm going to go for forms, and here you're going to add new fold. 
So here what I want to do is to import the name of my, let's say the, the one is going to be like a passenger. So let's see if passenger is going to be Dan Thomas and hit into add your form. So the form name is this one. So I can use start to inform text, email, number, check marks, radio, head and captcha. So I'm going to go for email. This is the email field, the text. I'm going to go for number and I'm going to go text once again. So see here it says actual text field. I'm going to click here. Let's go for label. I'm going to go for advanced options. So let's say that I want to add like a placeholder. So I want to go for name and this one is going to be the phone number. This one is going to be text field. Let's go for the address. And I want to add something else for the text. And here I'm going to go for car number of passengers required add option number one, two, three, and four. And I'm going to hit into save my form if I want to. If I think I'm ready, I'm going to leave it like that. If you think you're not, you can add more fields. Let's say, for example, you're going to add like a, a check mark. Uh, let's say that you want to look out for a manual or an automatic uh, booking system. I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to go to the X mark. I think that we are more than enough. And hit into save that you're formed. So automatically, it's going to be appearing into all our forms of then Thomas. We have the full form options. We have the submit, emergency notifications, the user notifications. I'm going to leave it like that. And the confirmation this form was successful. I want to delete all of this. Thanks for booking with us. And I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to move, move this and make this bold and hit into save my form. So now that I have created my actual uh, form, I'm going to go once again down in here and I want to look out now for the calendars. Here into the calendars, people can start to create the actual booking section. So I'm going to go for uh, add new calendar and we go for calendar day. Let's say that this one is going to be from the first period of the 2023. I'm going to hit into the add calendar. So there we go. We have the booking, the calendar, the edit dates, the legend, the I call improved. So you want to hit into edit dates availability. Now let's say for example, that there's like a situation on Sundays or on Saturdays, let's say from the 11 and 12, you want to go for booked, booked. And here into 18 and 19, I want to do exactly the same thing, booked. And I'm going to hit into save my calendar so people can see what is my actual schedule of my calendar. So as you can see, it now has been added automatically. This is how it's going to be looking. So I can go back into the very first hide. Once again, I'm going to choose look how for the double P booking system. And now I can go for the setting section, which is the actual last part. So lastly, what we just need to do is to add this into our actual website. But if you want to check it out, more of that, we can do that later. We can focus now into how we can just import this. I'm going to go into published and hit into publish once again and just go into the place this page so you can promote this if you want to. If not, you would leave it like that. Go back into WordPress and check it out if your actual plugin, which is the W booking system, is now enabled. So uh, with that being said, guys, now we are now ready to go. We can now start to add a new calendar. I can now start to add some forms and I have my IDs already being created. So if you think that there's anything missed, what you want to do is to try to upload into your premium version. But since I'm telling you guys this is totally for free, we don't need to actually do anything at all. So we're going to just leave it like that. If you want to add new post media orders, coupons or whatever, you can add this in the upper side. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, guys. If you really want to see more amazing tools for how you can get started by booking some stuff more than just a taxi, you can look out for booking almost anything. And we just use Pantheon to use this totally for free. So I think that this one is going to be really, really worthy for you guys. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you really want to see more great tools. And well, I will see you on the next video.